Hi, I'm Marty Duda. Welcome to the 13th floor. Today we're very excited to have Tammy Nielsen up here, who's going to perform a couple of songs with Dave Kahn, but first we have to talk. So <laughs> it's exciting that the album is finally out and you're doing it, because I've seen you many times, you know, with Marlon and Delaney and everybody, and right. now we get to hear you on your own. Um, maybe just give me a little overview about how the album came to be before we talk about the song that you're going to perform. Right. Um, I guess I started writing for it um, earlier in the year, and um, it was actually while I was on tour with, with Marlon Delaney and Dave on the Grand Ole Hayride. And um, so a few of the songs were written for that specific project. And I guess that kind of kick-started because I, I hadn't written for, probably for about a year because I had, I had a baby, another one, yeah. earlier. Keep them coming. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> popping them out like biscuits, man. And um, yeah, so at that time I had a one-year-old and you know life gets quite busy and, and wasn't really writing a lot. And uh, so when we decided to do an album, The Sad But True Volume 2, for the Grand Ole Hayride Tour, um, I guess that kind of uh, got, me, got me rolling on some writing again. And then when we were on the tour, we toured that Grand Ole Hayride twice. And so I scheduled, I had been writing all in the interim throughout the year, and um, we scheduled the recording. I had a week in Littleton that I booked in for the very end of the Grand Ole Hayride tour, the second one, so that we would all be on the road, we'd be able to try out the songs live and rehearse them, and well, not even rehearse, just perform them. And, um, you know, we would all be kind of, you know, it would be nice and tight and we'd know kind of uh, what we were trying to achieve on the album. Okay. And yeah. it's very impressive that all of the songs are songs that you've written because, you know, because you do have this kind of retro sound to you and, and what you do. So you, I think a lot of people would assume that you're going to record a bunch of old standards and, you know, mm. to find that, is it difficult to write for this type of style that you do? Um, I don't think it's difficult, no. It's, um, I, I think that that comes more so in the production and, and in the playing. You know, I think the guys are more responsible for like, all the musicians and, and Delaney and Ben producing um, are more responsible for, I think, pulling off the songs in a way that it didn't sound contrived or like we were trying to do covers. Right. Um, I really wanted them to sound um, fresh, but I, I kind of wanted them to sound like they, they would be something that you would find in the archives of the Sun Records yeah. um, rosters, you know, where <laughs> um, kind of this lost album, which, you know, because I love that um, all the artists on, on that Sun Records label were all very diverse in their genres, even though they, they were some of them like Johnny Cash or Elvis or um, Carl Perkins, you know, may have been grounded in country or grounded in rockabilly or rock and roll, but there was just, you know, they, they did the gamut of country, soul, gospel, rockabilly, you know, there, it was, it didn't have to be such a specific right. um, genre, yep. and that's really what I, what I wanted to achieve, and, um, but I think that the, the, the boys playing and, and Delaney and Ben's producing um, really helped it to give a, a little more of an edgy, like Delaney definitely has an edgy modern gritty edge to what he does mm -hmm. so um you know we didn't didn't get stuck in that kind of here's a schmaltzy cover uh feel right yeah, yeah. now so the first song that we're going to hear you guys do is what is it cry over you is that yes yeah, yeah. okay yeah. so maybe you can just give a little background on that one before we hear it oh um this is one that i actually i really wanted to uh, do one of those kind of big um divas of the 60s kind of feel um uh, I guess it's paying homage to, to Patsy Cline, um, who is one of my heroes. Um, but also, I guess just getting that feel of, you know, the, it can be quite depressing lyrics, but really um, upbeat, happy. Um, we, we actually listened to, uh, is it Jackie Wilson's Lonely Teardrops? Oh, yeah. Um, and how, you know, that's really, really sad lyrics once again, but he, you know, snapping and dancing and it's just, yes. you know, everybody, it's a party song. So <laughs> I like, I kind of like that, that contrast. Yeah. All right. Well, let's give it a listen. Too many heartaches, too many nights. 
righty, we're back at the 13th floor with Tammy Nielsen. You and Dave are going to do another song off of the Dynamite album for us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which one is uh, next? Um, this next one is called Woohoo, and uh, I really just wanted did to you write. write the word yourself? I did. I made that up, actually. <laughs> Very original. Um, I wanted to kind of capture that really, just really fun, almost Everly Brothers. I wanted harmony all the way through. Um, and just really fast, racy lyrics. And um, Dave kindly learned all the words, which <laughs> is no small feat. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so yeah, just really wanted to get that, that real fun, uh, full harmonies. I think actually that, that um, is it Phil Everly that, that passed away yes, recently? Phil, yeah. And he, I, it, he ha it was just before he passed away actually um, that I wrote this. So um, yeah, I, I really enjoy performing it as well. and. Uh, because the Everly Brothers were my, my heroes growing yeah, up, being good. from a family band. Yeah, right. Um, I quite, I gravitated to, you know, that those family harmonies, yeah. Cool, all right. song that you guys are going to do and I must say it, it is a request that I've asked for. I don't, <laughs> don't usually do that but I've heard you sing this song so many times and I love it so now I just want my own version to have right, right. sung in my living room kind of. <laughs> it's your show you get to do what you, you know, want right, you yeah, can right. call the shots. <laughs> yeah this one's not on the album but it's a special special request just for Marty. Yeah, it's a <laughs> Patsy Cline tune right? Yes yeah, one of my favorite well my favorite Patsy song and but also just one of my favorite songs of all time bar none. Um, she just transcends genres and, and um, uh, yeah, I just, I love this song. It's called She's Got You. Fantastic. Well, thank you for stopping by. And Thanks for having me. Anytime us. you want to come by and sing, <laughs> go for it. Thanks, Marty. <laughs> right. <laughs> your picture that you gave to me and it's signed with love just like it used to be the only thing different the only thing new I've got your She's got you. I've got the records that we used to share, and they still sound the same as when you were here. 
Uh-huh.